Hi, good evening everyone. Uh, so reporting in now from day 24 uh, of the expedition. So uh, I think the headlines for today have got to be monotony. Uh, woke up to um, really poor visibility, you know, virtually a sort of whiteout today, um, which again just makes things a little bit more difficult. Um, so uh, <clears throat> most of the day, I have nothing on the horizon at all to focus on uh, to be able to sort of keep a sense of direction. So again, it was sort of staring at the compass uh, that sort of mounted on my chest. It was like head down, keep an eye on the compass, making sure I was skiing as straight a line as possible. Uh, and to get any kind of perspective, I was just looking at the sort of tips of my skis um, as they were sort of going over the sort of undulating ground and bits of the scroogey you know, to get a sense of if I was going sort of up down or you know, tipping over left and right, so it was real, real difficult going. <clears throat> Definitely a day for uh, music and audio books, you know, to try and break the sort of tedium <laughs> and, uh, and then just sort of chip away at it, really. Um, and then, uh, but I did okay. Uh, I was quite pleased uh, with my mileage. And then right at the end of the day, probably the last sort of hour, um, <clears throat> the conditions really improved. And the sun came out got great visibility so I decided to go a bit longer just to sort of make up the mileage because you're always much slower in white out so uh, the bolt an extra hour on so I did 11 hours today and uh, still managed to make over uh, 14 nautical miles so I was quite pleased considering the conditions um, with uh, how far I got which was great <coughs> uh, shout out today uh, I'd like a shout out to, uh, to John Jones um, and his wife, uh, Yvonne, as well. So, uh, John is uh, as nice an old boy as you could possibly uh, ever meet. Uh, he works for me as a vehicle mechanic up at the Infantry Battle School in Brecon. Um, in fact, he's got two jobs. He also runs a, uh, a sheep farm in Deeper Stark in Wales as well. So, he's a pretty busy, pretty busy boy, but a um, really nice guy. Always pops in my office most days. You know, during the build up to the expedition, see how we're getting on, see how we're getting on with the fundraising and training, um, and everything else, and really showed, you know, a huge interest uh, in the expedition. And uh, I know him and his wife are following it now. And uh, he even made the effort to uh, drag himself out of Wales, which I know is quite difficult for John. And uh, him and his wife, and they came down to London for their expedition launch event as well in October. So, uh, you know, really, uh, really pleased by that, and his support has been, you know, Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah, big shout out to you, John. And as you thinking about that full English breakfast that you, uh, you made me the day before I departed. And, uh, my God, I could just call you probably 10 of those now. And, uh, yeah, look forward to catching up and, uh, you know, when I get back from the expedition. Cool. I'm hoping for a uh, better condition tomorrow and I'm probably going to, you know, start building, you know, in the days now and going longer and longer. Uh, I'm really pushing to the mileage to get to pole you know, in good time, so <clears throat> watch this space and see how we get on. Okay, that's all for tonight. Onwards.